<laughs> Is there such a thing as too many pour overs? Good afternoon, beautiful people. Welcome back to Brewing Jitsu. Today, we got something really exciting, the Fellow XF Pour Over Dripper Set Combo. Full disclosure, they did send this to me free of charge after seeing my first video. They are not reviewing the content of this or trying to influence my opinion of their products in any way. However, I am a Fellow affiliate, which does mean that if you like what I'm doing and you like the stuff that Fellow makes, Click the link here in the description below. It'll take you right to their shop and any purchase that you made will help support this channel and making more content for you about coffee, gear, and dogs. With that out of the way, let's get to some unboxing. First thing that comes out is the carafe itself. So the carafe is a double walled glass carafe, comes with a silicone stopper on the top. They include 30 filters, which is a really good move on their part because these filters are not really the same as your Melita or Kalita type filters. Although they do look relatively similar, the shape and the length in particular are different. We'll do a little comparison later in the video. At the bottom of the box is the dripper. Now this is the most exciting part about this whole pour over set to talk about. There are a lot of different drippers out on the market, but I think this one in particular has some advantages that might be useful if you're in the market to switch up your pour over game or just getting into pour over. The bottom piece is a drip tray and also doubles duty as a measurement tool for guessing about how much coffee grounds you might need if you don't have a scale handy. I'd say you should always be brewing with a scale so you can clearly measure your coffee to water ratio, but if you're in a pinch or you're traveling, you don't wanna carry a bunch of extra stuff with you, it's kind of nice to have a little handy tool to guess about how much coffee you might be grinding or putting into your dripper. This is a metal dripper and it has a silicone gasket at the bottom that allows it to sit gently on top of the glass uh, carafe. Number one, this is not a pure, unrestricted free flow kind of dripper. When I'm thinking about that, the one that classically comes to mind is the V60. Let me grab it real quick. The bottom of the, of the V60 has this big gaping hole. And so when you put a filter in it, the only thing that is restricting the rate of water coming through here is going to be the grind size. You can dial in the exact amount of extraction if you have a grinder that gives you that level of fine control over the grind size. You grind really, really fine. It's gonna take a long time for the water to get through your bed of coffee. You're gonna have a more extracted cup of coffee in the end. Grind a little bit coarser, your water is gonna move much more quickly through your coffee bed. You'll get a lower extraction, which will lend itself to a little bit brighter type of cup of coffee. One small change in your grind size can result in a big change in the characteristic and quality of the cup that you're drinking. For that reason, the V60 can be a little bit unforgiving, especially for your very first cup of coffee in the morning. It can be tricky for the first few cups to dial in the perfect cup of coffee. Enter the flow restriction type drippers. Up until now, my daily driver coffee pour over has been in the morning on a Kalita. More specifically, the Kalita Wave 185. What is different about the Kalita compared to the V60 is that the bottom of the Kalita is flat and there are three small holes drilled at 120 degree angles around the base of that flat bottom. 
And this means that you have a fixed rate that water can flow through the Kalita compared to the V60. That means that the Kalita is more forgiving, especially if you tend to err on the coarser side of grind settings. And it also means that it's much easier to get a flat bed of coffee once you're done compared to the V60. Having a flat bed of coffee grounds at the end of your pour over means that you're more likely to have a consistent extraction throughout the coffee cup. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the right extraction, but if some of your coffee is under extracted and some of your coffee is over extracted, like what happens if you have an uneven bed of coffee, then it becomes even harder to dial in that perfect brew. So having a flat bed of coffee and a flat bottomed brewer tends to make it a little bit easier from my perspective to get that perfect consistent extraction. Now the fellow is a flat bottomed brewer. It has instead of the three holes in the Kalita or the one large hole in the V60, the fellow brewer has 10 holes in the bottom. These 10 holes promote an even and smooth symmetrical extraction from both the edges of the flat bottom all the way down to the center. The question then remains, between these two, which offers more resistance to flow? The three hole Kalita 185 wave or the 10 hole Fellow Stag XF dripper? I should say that resistance to flow is not itself either good or bad. You can find drippers that'll do any of those sorts of things for all the way from something completely unrestricted like a V60 to something completely restrictive. For example, the Clever dripper. In my testing, pouring 600 grams worth of water through each of these brewers without a filter in them, the slowest brewer was the Kalita, taking about a minute for that water to run through. Next was the Fellow XF, taking about 30 seconds of time for the water to run through. And the fastest by far was obviously the V60, having all the water run through it in a matter of seconds. So one final comment on these brewers, and that has to do with thermal mass. When you're talking about a pour over, You'd be surprised at how much temperature gets absorbed by your pour over brewer itself, even if you've preheated everything with boiling hot water. Something like a ceramic V60 is notorious for sucking anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees out of your brew temperature. Even if your kettle is set to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, the water is gonna cool as it travels out of the kettle, goes through the air, and dissipates and is absorbed by the thermal mass of your brewer. The double-walled nature of it means that it will insulate better and your slurry is not going to lose so much of its temperature to the atmosphere as it brews over time. But it is significantly more metal in here compared to the Kalita and therefore, if you're going to use this stag brewer, I would probably recommend being a little bit more aggressive with preheating your vessel compared to when, if you were using something like the stainless steel Kalita or a plastic brewer. Let's talk a little bit about filters also. Talk amongst yourselves, talk amongst yourselves. Saved it. This is the pleated paper filter that comes with the Fellow XF Brewer. Comparatively, this is the size of the filter that comes with the Kalita 185. Now these are designed for slightly different brew types, but you could fit a similar amount of coffee into these two brewers. The angle of the Fellow Brewer is much, much steeper than the overall angle of the Kalita Wave. The diameter of the circles at the bottom is almost identical. In fact, if you match those two up, you'll see that the brewing surface is almost identical at the, at the base of these filters between the Fellow XF and the Kalita 185. The Kalita is much shorter than the Stag. Famously, the V60 has a 60 degree angle and the Kalita represents a very similar approach to the angle of the side of the brewer. The angle of the XF brewer is a, quite a bit steeper. 
So those are the major differences between these two more classic pour over brewers and this elevated version that Fellow has put out. All right, let's make some coffee. thoughts on this set. I'd absolutely recommend this setup for anybody who's getting started on their pour over journey or anybody who's looking to round out their arsenal of coffee brewing equipment to get the best out of any specific coffee. That's this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're looking for more coffee, gear, or dog content, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>